All right, guys, I'm on my build today. Uh, Sam was here before he just left. I've got some other bits in here, any breakdowns or whatever. So, the job for today is uh, the power hammer. Okay, so the hammer's in, and I'm going to get the comrade in now, and the piston. So there's the piston. Connect these back together, have a big clean up, and drop them in. And then hopefully that's all the top end done, and then the lids can go on. And then I've got to get the back end in, the bearing assembly, connect that up, obviously. Which will probably be a bit awkward. Uh, no, actually, no, it should be okay. Yeah, it just bolts to the top of it. It's to M12 bolts. Right, crack on. Sorry, guys, not the eye of the desk, but it's there we go. Okay, so this, I don't think it's detrimental to where the Okay, so that's in, and now it's a circlip that goes in there. Let's try and do so one handed. Don't know if you've got any of that, sorry guys. It's too dark. I'll apologise right now for my terrible photography skills. So the circlip's in, you can see there. You see, I've edited loads of video and filming long bits that you're not going to really be very interesting. I'm literally just putting this assembly in now. So I need to take these panels off the side to allow that to go in and then bolt it on there. And that's what the flywheel fixes to. And then the comrade goes to the front of that crank, goes onto the piston that goes drops in from the top. So I'll set that up now. I wasn't sure if that was clear before, so basically this long threaded bar here, because obviously these weren't long enough, I've used that, wound that into this body, then put a knot on the back and wound that on, and then I can get these just so I can get these started to start biting, I'll put a few of them in, and as I wind them up now evenly, I'll draw this onto the frame. So that's all I'm doing now. Okay, so we've just wrestled the flywheel on. Don't know why I wrestled it on when I got the forklift, but... Never mind. Um, and all I've done is the, I need to draw the crankshaft now onto the, the flywheel. Because if I push it, it just wants to ca obviously carry on into the uh, the body. So all I'm all I've done is got an M12 threaded bar because uh, the crankshaft is threaded. Wound it fully in as far as it will go. And then all I'm doing now is a couple of washers on here onto this washer, and I'm drawing it on. So as I, as I tighten this 
and this up here it draws the crankshaft back onto the uh, the flywheel it has a spacer on the inside that you can't really tell it's a piece of tube that sits over the uh oh there sorry that sits over the crank that's that's what you're spacing for the flywheel let's do that now right so now i've got this to go in the piston uh i might just try and handball that in to be fair Maybe I do. Yeah, so I'll rig it up on the uh, the forklift. <whistles> right, guys, I'm just lowering the uh, piston in now. Obviously it's under suction. Um, so just having to tap it down as I go. And then all I need to do is connect up the con rod. It's just appearing there onto this, onto the crank, and then we should be good. So in theory, when I rotate this flywheel, that should spin. Send that piston up and down. So we'll find out in a minute. Okay, so just tighten these up now. It's a bit hard this side because stupidly I put the uh, thingy together. Let's see if we get some finger turns on it. Mm. Yep. Just a bit of it now and then it'll pinch up. So I'm going to just wind these on. Okay, just winding on the last of these now, on the cap. It's nice and tight. Go on, quick filming. So I've done that one, and I'm just doing this last one. This is the back one with the piston. So, I'm just going to tighten these up, and then uh, the last thing to go on is the motor, and then obviously the hammers. It should be ready to go. Right, annoyingly, when I bought it, the guy tried to lift it without a sling or anything, just tried to use the tines, obviously off here. It wasn't on a pallet or anything, he just tried to pick it up and bent this. So it's kinked there, I've just been bending it out now with this, just put a bar across there and another bar here like a fulcrum. So I'm just going to quickly bend that back. It was pretty boring, I just had to make a motor plate for obviously the motor. Um, the way this works is as you tension, tighten it up, it pulls the motor down, which obviously tensions the, uh, the belts, but it puts stress on the brackets and the cast, so it's not a very good design, obviously it's cheap. So I've just quickly made a, uh, a plate, well that's just going to go there, and acts as an extra support, so as you tighten it up it'll pull them down.